What's going on YouTube, Diggy546? Um, right now there's about a minute and something left in this game. I just, you rarely see me make a post game video while the game is still on. But um, today the Giants did not play well at all. They didn't coach well. Uh, they didn't play well as far as coaching. The conservative coaching at the end of the first half, it's it's showing it's showing your offense that you don't believe that you don't believe in them. They, they, there's times where he's where Dave will puts all the trust or Kafka puts all the trust in that offense and shows them that he believes in them. But that end of the half thing where you got almost two minutes and two timeouts left, you got to try to do something in the first half. You got to try to do something in the first half. Like there, there's no way that you can that you can keep doing that. So that's one thing. Um, it, it just all around was not a good performance from the coaching staff. Uh, the plays that we called in the first half were not working. The option wasn't working. The bootleg wasn't working. D Daniel Jones made about three or four guys miss on bootlegs who were in his face because they knew the bootleg was coming. And he made guys miss and was able to make things happen out of it. So obviously that's not working. It wasn't working. Uh, and we kept running those bootlegs. We kept running it. Um, we kept going back to that wildcat in the first half. Luckily, we didn't go back to that in the second half, but that wasn't that effective. As the Seahawks player is limping off the field, you hate to see that at the end of this game. But uh, those bootlegs and, and the option, we, we saw it wasn't working. And we just kept going back to it. We just kept just being stubborn, going back to it. And it, like I said, it was not working. Um, defense, we kept playing off of these receivers. I don't understand what it is with Giants coaches and playing off of receivers. Uh, it'll be a third and two, and we're playing seven to eight, nine yards off of the receiver. And we just continue to allow those easy underneath completions to be, to be completed. Uh, we continue to basically let them run our own offense against us where they're motioning guys across the field and they're using that motion guy uh, as an option, as a check down option for, for the quarterback. And we left that open the entire game. No type of adjustment. We did not switch over to cover two, make sure a guy was covering the flats. We decided not to do that. We just kept on doing. And then uh, as, as a Daniel Jones pass gets tipped right here, Third and 10 for the Giants. And there's about 58 seconds left in the game. Um, but we didn't make any adjustments on defense or offense. Besides abandoning the Wildcat, we didn't make any adjustments in the second half, which is very disappointing. A um, couple of times we ran some play action that worked. Overall, the pass protection was really good today. I don't know what the final on the sack total is, but overall, for the most part, Daniel Jones had about four or five seconds, and sometimes he made guys miss. But overall, he was sitting back there pretty comfortably. Um, and there, there's Daniel Jones throwing. Tanner Hudson might have about 60 yards at the end of this game, and all of it was in garbage time. <laughs> uh, he might, like, actually have a, a bunch of garbage time yards. But, um, yeah, we didn't make any adjustments. And that whole end of the first half thing, you're just going to come out and not try to score. That's that's demoralizing in a game like this where your offense can't move the ball. Um, we should have made some adjustments. That's that's what I'll say on the coaching part. Was definitely our worst coach game of the year. And then on top of that, you got Richie James. Now, uh, Richie James did not have a good game at all by any stretch. And I'll bundle in Richie James with uh, with uh, Jason Pinnock. I'll bundle those two guys together because I really think that those two guys really killed any shot at momentum we had in this game. Football is a game of momentum, and people will always try to tell you, as the score on my screen is wrong and I'm looking right now, pay no attention to the score. Pay no attention to the score. I just haven't updated. I've been, I've been angry. But... Um, as I said, <laughs> bundling in Jason Pinnock and um, and uh, I think his name is Justin Pinnock. I don't know his name. But <laughs> bundling him in with Richie James, 
They both killed our momentum. We returned, Richie James returned to punt back all the way to the Seahawks, like 45 yard line. And because of a useless block in the back penalty, um, I, I just keep looking at the game because they got about three sacks on Daniel Jones in the last 30 seconds. This is all garbage time. But because of because of that penalty by Pennock, we go from having the ball at the Seahawks 46 yard line, 45 yard line to having the ball at our own 20 because of a stupid block in the back. That's one thing where he just basically took three points off the board, basically killed a drive. We weren't able to do much with that drive after that. Um, and I will get to the offense, but Pinnock killed that. He, he killed about three points off the clock. And then Richie James fumbles the ball after our defense gets a huge sack after we get two sacks in a row. After McKinney comes flying through at a million miles per hour and lays out Geno Smith. <laughs> I mean, he lays out Geno Smith completely. And they have to punt the ball for the first time. And it looks like we're taking over the momentum. And you look at Richie James fumbles the ball. He's holding the ball way out here. Way out here. And trying to spin. And he's fumbling the ball. So that's one thing. We give up three points there. I mean, it's, 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 we give up three points there. And then that next punt, that next, I don't, it wasn't the next punt, but another punt where it looks like we're taking momentum back. Richie James fumbles and gives the Giants zero shot at coming back. Zero shot, zero shot at that point. You fumble the ball in your own territory two times. Tell me how many times you're going to win that game unless you have an elite quarterback and a high powered offense. It's just hard. And people want to point to probably the amount of yards we had. First of all, we wasted a drive at the end of the first half because we wanted to run the clock out. Uh, second, you look, we had a drive where we started the ball at the one yard line. Uh, that's, that's two opportunities off the clock. Uh, we had another drive. I can't remember what happened on that, but we wasted a couple of drives in this game of just one, we started at the one yard line. So of course we're not going to get any yards. And then the second, you know, we, we lost out on possessions because of punts, because of fumble punts. You can't fumble inside your own territory like that. And a bunch of people are going to, are going to like attack Richie James on a personal level, send them crazy messages, whatever. I, I don't really condone that, but that's what people are going to do. At the end of the day, this dude, pretty much gave about 10 points up. Uh, if I were to update the score right now, and I'll just go and update it for kicks, uh, we lost this game 13 to 27. And I would say 10 points uh, is because if we fumbled the ball twice in our own secondary, in our own uh, territory, and then three more points. So you add another 13 points was because of, um, was because of, Pinnock blocking a guy in the back. So you add 13 to the 20 to the 13 that we have, and this is on a horrible offensive day, but you add 13 to that 13 that we have, it's a 26-27 game. And instead of going for it on fourth down at the end of uh at this one of our last drives of the game, because we were in field goal range, but we had to try to convert, we probably are kicking a game winning or, you know, a game tying or whatever kind of field goal, depending on how the rest of the game went out. But the game would have been much closer and within striking distance if we just simply could hold on to the ball and not have horrible penalties. We had another penalty where Brightwell returned it, had a decent return, and we're having to start the ball, having to start off at the eight yard line. So I just, I, I got to call things how I see it. Uh, the Giants beat themselves today, and that's not saying that the Seahawks didn't come out and, and take this game. They definitely did. Geno Smith looked really good. He hit all the receivers that were open. He even hit Tyler Lockett, who dropped a wide open touchdown, who also fumbled the ball and is in his own inside his own three yard line. So they helped us too, but we helped them just a little bit more than when they helped us. And we all knew that this type of football that we're playing, where we're stretching out our possessions, where we're only trying to have a certain amount of possessions per game, where we dominated time possession in the third quarter, we held the ball pretty much 
probably 85% of the, the third quarter, you got to come away with touchdowns there. You got to come away with a touchdown because if you're holding the ball for long periods of time and you're not scoring, you're not going to win the game because if the other team is able to score, you're, you're not, it's just, that's not how math works. You're not going to be able to put up enough points. So, um, like I said, we got out coached, we got out played, uh, the offense in general, Daniel Jones missed a guy, uh, wide open, missed the tight end wide open. Uh, we had a couple of drops as always. Bellinger was definitely missed. We had a couple of horrible missed blocks from tight ends today. It, it's just, it, it is what it is. Bellinger is definitely missed. We had some bad missed blocks today. Uh, from the tight end position, we had a couple of, of missed runs by Saquon Barkley. We just missed the gaps. Uh, a couple of times, Daniel Jones should have taken off, and he didn't. A couple of times, like I said, he missed guys that were open. Uh, people always want to look for somebody to blame. I guess if you do, it will be Richie James. But o- overall, the team as a whole didn't play well. The defense overall played played decent. They, they got us pretty much our only touchdown of the game even though we scored on offense, they got us the ball in the one yard line. Um, they made some plays. They made some sacks. They, 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 they did some things, but at the end of the day, a couple of times they, they made it entirely too easy, made it entirely too easy for the, for the Seahawks offense to score. Uh, and it looks like Terry McLaurin. I, I'm looking at this game. It looks like the commanders came out and went and won a game. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. We can't be the only team that couldn't come out with a win this week in the NFC East. Uh, Cowboys and the Eagles both blew the teams out that they played against. The Eagles, once again, blew the doors off of somebody in the first half and coasted the whole second half. They haven't even had to play a whole game yet. And Dallas, I mean, put up 49 points. (laughs) So, uh, Giants got to play better. We got to play better. I really think at this point, I've said we needed to go ahead and wait for our receivers to get healthy, but we traded away Tony. Uh, Galladay, we can't expect anything from. We we might have to go out and get a receiver. The price might have went up for DJ Moore. Uh, it might have went up for Jerry Judy. But we got to go out and get a receiver. We got to go out and get a receiver because this offense is very limited, especially without Bellinger. Without that blocking tight end who can also be a receiving threat, Tanner Hudson and Chris Myrick can do that at, at, a, at a lower rate than uh, than uh, Bellinger. But we're missing weapons. We need somebody to provide a spark. I thought Wandale would be able to give us more, but he just simply is not right now. And uh, we probably need to add a guy, whether that be Hamler, whether that be Judy, whether that be DJ Moore. We probably need to add a guy if we want to continue to be competitive. But uh, overall, man, the Giants are six and two. Uh, six and two through eight games. Last time I checked, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna hang my head high. I'm gonna hold my head high. And uh, we're going into this bye week six and two. You wish we would have gone in better, but hopefully the coaching can get better coming out because this was definitely our worst coach game. We didn't make. We didn't adjust to 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 stop what the Seahawks did to us the entire game. So uh, you guys. Let me know how you're feeling about this loss, our first loss in a long time. We almost went undefeated in October, but we couldn't do it. Um, we got a week off. We got the Texans after that. That should be a get-right game. Hopefully, it's it's with uh, DJ Moore, Jerry Judy in it. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Seahawks came out and won this game. Um, I'm going to get out of here, man. You guys have a great rest of your week. Uh, I would say enjoy the night game, but we all know the Bills are going to destroy the the Green Bay Packers. That might as well not have been on primetime.